happy June. Do you notice the new page? <clears throat> it's feeling love that makes somebody feel good. That's the real present. And today is June 7th. Happy June. Well, the music candy store is open. Shall we visit the tray? We have a variety, but you notice there are also different music notes, different patterns of music notes that make up different rhythms. What do you think seeing now our candy tray and the musical patterns, what do you think we are gonna do with them? If you guessed eating them right away, eh, wrong. If you guessed wearing them on my head, you might be right, but not today. Um, no, yes, we are gonna actually match the sounds of this delicious candy to the patterns. So before we do that, let us review the musical notes that we have. Here is our grid. Remember, we are working in common time of music. That is 4-4 four, four time. There are other times. The full name is called a time signature. And it, that, that fraction is written at the beginning of a song so that you know how to play and perform the song. So the biggest note we have is whole note. So let's review the whole note. One, two, three, four. 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 Whole note has one sound. It's held for four, but it has one sound, okay? Now, what if you wanted the whole note to be a rest for as long as a whole note. This is what it would look like. And sometimes in a piece of music, you want a whole note worth of rest. So it's called a whole rest. So it's a line with kind of a box. Instead of playing anything, you would go, that's a rest, okay? Whole note, whole rest. Add a stem to it and you got yourself a half note. One, two, three, four. You notice how I counted up to four. I didn't go one, two, one, two, which would be another time signature. I counted up to four. One, two, three, four. What if you wanted part of that measure, that section of music, to be a rest? What do you think that's called? If this is called whole rest, and you turn it upside down, it kind of looks like a hat, doesn't it? That's a half rest. So we would rest. One, two. One, two. Now, depending on the time signature, we're in the common time, it would feel different. Okay, so there's our half note and our half rest. What is the note? Now we have taken that note, that whole note, filled it in, and added a stem. That is one beat long. One. If you fill up a whole measure of four or four, you're going to have one, two, three, four. So it's four sounds in a whole, in a measure, in a section. And what do you think this would be? If this is a whole note and a whole rest, half note and a half rest, the next logical conclusion is this is a quarter note and a quarter rest. Did I have that backwards? No, I didn't. Okay, sometimes backwards. So that means that you could rest for one beat. Why are we learning this, you say? to be able to either read a song or to be able to even write a song. What if you wanted to write a song that was four beats long and made one sound? You would need to use a whole note. So this is your musical tool bag here. Okay, fabuloso. I have now added a flag. There's that hole that got filled with the stem and the flag. It's a half a beat long. It's an eighth note. So if that's an eighth note and you wanna have an eighth note rest, it would look, it kind of looks like a seven there, right? Okay. So those are our notes. Now let's go back to the candy because that's what the fun part is, right? We have different names for the candy, obviously. One, I think the actual perfect candy bar, you may disagree with me. Perhaps you'll tell me your favorite candy bar, Snickers. Got protein, it's got sugar, all that good stuff. How many sounds are in the name of a snicker? Snickers. Snickers. Which one do you like better? Snickers. I like Snickers. Snickers. Can we find, uh oh, this one fell. Okay. Snickers. If you wanna make it faster, 
Where did Miss Perryman put it? How dare she lose it? Oh, there's where I put it. Let's find one in here that is eighth note. Snickers. Rest, rest, rest. Okay? So I am going to match Snickers to those two eighth notes. Snickers. Rest, rest, rest. Okay? Let's find another one. Kit Kat. You guys like Kit Kats? Kit Kat. Rest, rest. Okay? Mm -hmm. Shall we fill? We still have some more to fill, don't we? How's about Almond Joy? Would it fit here? Oh, uh, no, but wait, Almond Head Joy has three sounds. All, mm -mm. Almond Joy, <gasps> it fits. Almond Joy. Another quite perfect candy. Reese, how many sounds in Reese? Now you could always say peanut butter cup, but in 4-4 you'd need two measures, right? But we're gonna just go with Reese, Reese. Oh wait, Reese's, two sounds. Reese's, because it's got that contraction, right? Reese's, that means that cap, you see the, the contraction there? So Reese's, okay? Now, you could call this just a kiss, or you could call it her, she's kiss. So we'll do kiss, and then we'll do her, she's kiss. York, these are these beautiful peppermint patty, peppermint, peppermint patty, peppermint patty, and all sorts of things, but we're just gonna go with York. York, two, three, four. Hold up, York, two, one sound, right? Another personal favorite, raisinets. Where is it, where will it fit? Raisinets. Raisinets, quarter, quarter, half. Do you see how they're fitting? The sounds are fitting into the sounds of the notes. So if you had a word that was one sound, you would use, you could use a quarter note if you only wanted it to last for one beat. You could use it a whole note if you wanted it to last for four beats. You could use a half note if you wanted it to last for two beats. Um, starburst, two half notes, starburst. So we've done everything except quarter notes. Do you see anything on my tray that could fit quarter notes? I do, and they are delicious. Butterfinger. Now how fast can Perryman put the rest of these? So we've done Kiss, we've done York, we've done Reese, we've done Almond Joy, we've done Kit Kat, Spree, hold up, dots, hold up, nerds, hold up, clicks, hold up, sugar babies, Oop. quarter, 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 Hershey's or Hershey's, 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 I don't know, that's up to you. I'm gonna say Hershey's, two eights, right here. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now completed the candy rhythms. Shall we go through them? Nerds, two, three, four, spree, two, three, four, ah! Bad Twix. Twix, two, three, four, dots, two, three, four, kiss, two, three, four, York, two, three, four. Let's do this one, the quarter, quarter, half. Almond Joy, Hershey Kiss, Raisinette. Snickers, two, three, four, Hershey's, two, three, four, I don't know, Hershey's might go a little more, uh, I like it over here. It's kind of debatable. Depends on your song or your, whatever piece of music you're writing. Butterfinger, Sugar Babies, Kit Kat, three, four, Reese's, three, four, Hershey's. Yeah, it's more quarter note. Um, Starburst, 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 eh, Starburst. Did I miss your favorite candy? Would you add to this? I like, I do like that, uh, the bubble gum chew, the baseball stuff. What, yeah, that would be, I wonder where that would fit. Anyway, I hope you had fun at our musical candy store and I hope I have made you.
you hungry. Have a good one.